you're watching 8-bit days a week and today I'm gonna do something different um, I'm going to try using the PlayStation Classic controller on a PC and um, I'm running on a Windows 10 if that's gonna matter and spoiler alert it actually works I tried it earlier just earlier Let's see here's USB I just connect it on my laptop there and you hear the little chime there I'm gonna load up Street Fighter 5 here because I'm actually surprised that it well I shouldn't be surprised but it nevertheless just did work and I'm pleased with its performance of course you just need to do a little uh, reconfiguration of the buttons but it should work straight away when I connected it it just asked to authenticate the direct input of course and then I just uh, mapped out the buttons in game and that's it that's uh, all I did no special drivers necessary and there see it's responding um, it's kinda difficult to do this one hand but as you can see I can move around using the d-pad so this is a this kind of makes the PlayStation Classic uh, at least a better deal. <laughs> Not completely disappointing. And uh, you get two USB controllers. You can use this for retro games, I guess, with just proper configuration. And all the buttons work. Uh, of course. We're still missing analogs, but if you're playing the simple games, or even not simple games like this one, as long as you don't need like the precision aiming or something like that, this is still a good deal. Um, and I played a f good few minutes of it a while ago. It does respond well. Um, I just really couldn't show it here because I'm holding the camera but trust me it plays great on a PC on Steam now um, I was just curious anyway so I know I read that say PlayStation 4 controllers don't work I'm gonna try it anyway, you know, just to show it you guys. Uh, here's a PS4 controller, uh, USB cable for it. Let's see how it goes. Just connecting it right now. And pressing the buttons, nothing is happening. As expected, it was already documented that it's not working. But I threw in other options there. Okay, I got here a PS2 controller. I'm going to connect a PS2 to PC cable. And um, maybe, hopefully, it will be recognized. See, this is what it looks like. So it's connected. And okay, inserting it now. Nope. Pressing buttons. Nothing. All right, well, so PS2 controller not working. PS4 controller as well, not working. 
Alright, and for one more test, I got here a Canva 4. This one can do, if it focuses there, Xbox 360 and PS3 or PC. It's a wired joystick. This is what I actually use for playing Street Fighter there. And it connects to a USB. So I'm first setting it to Xbox 360. And nothing though. Alright, I'm disconnecting it first. Switching it to PS3 mode, PS3 PC mode. And reinserting the USB cable. And uh, unfortunately, still nothing. So, yeah, looks like you're gonna be stuck with the PlayStation Classic uh, regular controller on this one. But uh, that's not a completely bad thing. It's still a good controller. It play it handles well. And on the plus side, it works on a PC. And uh, let me see if I could just do this one hand. Oh, there, see. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. It works and it's great. I'll probably test uh, test it out on a few more things. But uh, I don't see how it might have problems with other games if it works already with uh, a game like uh, this Street Fighter V. Alright, that's it for this video. And um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you're watching 8-bit days a week. Please um, hit the subscribe and like and leave your comments and I'll see you on the next video.